Yeah, Tara. <laughs> um, Steve from Tennessee's Coast, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, congratulations today. That was quite a comeback win against a very good player. Thank you. Well, it was a very tough match for me because we know each other very well and we played quite a lot of times, but I was expecting a very tough match and we were both a little bit nervous, so the match was not the best one, but I'm happy that I won. But you, in your career, have beaten almost everyone <laughs> once or more, haven't you? No, I don't think so. No? And so, <laughs> look, you had a really, really good start to the year. Um, Hobart, um, Indian Wells, Miami. Uh, so, where do we go uh, as you're leading up to the U.S. Open right now? Well, How do you feel? I, well, for me, it's really tough to play U.S. Open because I never won match there. So, my, I have like 0-9 there. Well, I wanted to win finally one match there. That's my goal, but it's very tough, and I'm happy that I won the round here. So it maybe gives me a lot of confidence, and we'll see. Now, I think you uh, spoke to your coach at the end of the first set today. Um, what words of wisdom did you get to turn it around? By the way, I think I just told him that I'm not confident, I'm nervous, and everything, and he just told me keep going, keep playing every step by step, and you will see. Right, right. Um, and up next at year, they're going to have Monica Puig or um, C.A. Sue. Uh, I think you beat uh, Su uh, C.A. Sue the last time you played her. Uh, any thoughts about either of those opponents? It's a very tough match. Monica is playing very good tennis right now, so it's going to be 50-50, I would say. But of course, if I play, it doesn't matter who, it's going to be a very tough match, and I have to give 100% to, to and try to win every point, and we'll see. Now, um, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, Czech Republic tennis. You produce some real overachievers, some real tough fighters. Um, tell me about your um, relationship with some of the other uh, female players from the Czech Republic. I think we have a really good relationship. We are very good friends together. And I don't know, that's very important for us because we are together always. We are going to the dinner and everything. So it's really important for us. That you do you do get together. Yes. Now, I talked to Andrea Lavochkova last year all about her brewing heritage. Uh, yeah. Tell me what is the most special part of the Czech Republic to you? You mean the city or? Uh, or, no, or pra Praha? Sure. Yeah, I live there in Prague and well, most of the players are practicing in the other part of Czech, in Prostyov. So in Prague there's just Lucy Hradecka, me and Bara Strikova and Andrea Hlavakova, but we are really good friends, all of us. So gotcha. No now, do you, do you ever drink a beer if you're not training? Yes, That's of course. <laughs> I, we drank a beer yesterday, so <laughs> right. we were together at the dinner. Now, what do you do? Do you, do you Czech beer is so much better than American beer. Right? <laughs> I have no idea beer? why, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> deal. Now, unlike so many other Czech players, you're not a double specialist. I mean, you play it once in a while just to keep in form. Um, why is it that you didn't get ex you don't get into the doubles like some of the other players? Well, I love to play doubles, but it's important to have somebody for the whole year, and it's very tough for me to find every tournament different partner. But here I have a chance to play with Lucy. She's top ten player in doubles, so well, I have to learn something from her, and we'll see. Maybe I try to play more doubles because I really love it. Now, finally, you're sort of the uh, senior member of the Czech WTA at this point. You're one of the more senior, more experienced players. So I must ask you what you thought of Marion Bartoli's sudden retirement. Well, to me, it's really sad because to win a Grand Slam and she's a really nice girl and she's, she was fighting all the career, she, every point. So I admire her a lot, but it's her resolution. And well, I just wish her good luck and maybe she's coming back once, but I don't know. Now, what tournament would you consider retiring if you won? What's the next one you're going to win that you'd say, that one was so good? I think I would wait for US Open and you then maybe, but it's her. It's sure enough. Thank you so much. Good luck <laughs> Thank here. You. Good luck in the US Open. Thanks again, Claire. Thank you.